But as you said, um, got to be looking at this game as one he needs to win. But he's up against Gorilla. And Gorilla Spencer, obviously uh, a veteran of the scene as well. Massive favourite in this game. Obviously the Englishman, he has picked up a win already in this group. I think he's sitting on uh, four or five points actually. You know, four points because he lost 3-2 to Janos, didn't he? Um, and it's just a little change. Uh, behind him, by the way, behind Huge Gorilla, as he's known, obviously on Twitter, is the uh, dragon himself, Sean Allen, sat behind as his coach. Obviously, there was a falling out for a while, but they're back as best friends, and uh, obviously he's keeping him calm, keeping him in his head. And uh, these guys actually were both sat in the play lounge, complete opposite sides. Um, very different feel, like Gorilla watching the task game, quite happy watching the Rocky task game. Uh, Marla instead, hoodie up, Earphones in, full focus. Yeah, full focus, and that's what he needs to do. You rightly said that you know, this is, um, well, I'm going to be quiet because it looks like we could have seen an early goal there. Didn't actually happen, though, so I can continue. Um, for Marla, personally, I think this is his first event, obviously, uh, in that Stuttgart team now, officially. Yeah. Uh, well, he was at FIWC WC last year, week. I'm not saying that that's not important. What yeah. I'm saying is that the pressure here is just to absolutely insane yeah. uh, on these guys. And I think that Marla, if he can beat Gorilla, that would be a huge, huge, obviously, three points for him. But more importantly, I think, for just his mental state right now to you know, actually get a win on the board and against a player like Gorilla would be massive. But let's see. He is, of course, in the white, playing right to left Gorilla in the... Red of England from left to right, and that's a ball going right over the top. It's Ronaldo. He's going to have to get past the defender, and it's Ferdinand that cuts across him, and we'll deal with that threat. Well, Gorilla is a player that's known for the goals. He scores uh, bags of goals, used to be. He worked hard throughout half a year on his defence, and this is the group as it stands. Now, I can tell you, you can see at the top, Roma Arman. You're thinking, what? What's happened? He is 1-0 up against Janos right now. An early goal in that game. Uh, Rafsoa also scored against Stax, and that's a game that Stax has to win. You can see a lot of players across this one have picked up wins, so it is quite a high point scoring uh, group right now compared to across the other one that was a, a fair clear split, which is the other Xbox group, which is four players on seven points, four players on one points. This, we can see, is very different, and at the moment, that obviously makes quite a big deal because he puts Gorilla down on fifth and he puts Marlon at the bottom of the pile. So both these players are going to be looking for a win here. Yeah, this is a round four game, as you can see at the bottom. So there's still 12 points technically um, uh, available for all these. No, there's nine points if I could actually, you know, do any. You, you want to hit like that 12 point marker as soon as possible, don't you? You want to start getting yourself a buffer. No, and 12 points is still up for grabs. It, it is, it is still could, up for grabs. I could add. You want to clock them up as soon as possible yep. because that's probably the cut-off line, I would say, for like fourth place you're going to be looking towards. So for Roma Aman on nine points already, potentially, obviously it's uh, only, what, 15 minutes in that game, uh, it could be a big deal. Of course, the PlayStation game's going on as well. That's a good through ball, but the keeper should have it. De Gea rather harshly took down Suarez, but he got the ball first. Um, speaking of players that need points, Eggshell's there up against Nicolas. Nicolas, the Argentinian, has been doing very well. Top of that group right now, and Eggshell's obviously going to be devastated about that Rain 10 game. He let a, a goal in it in the 93rd minute to lose 3-2. It's a bit of a kick in that one. So there, Rafsu up 1-0, a man beating Janos, as we said earlier. Here's a bit of space on this bottom side Ooh, for Marla. Gonna Walker's going to come over. No. Apparently, no foul going to be given for that one. And Marla, I have to say, a very cool, calm, collected individual anyway. Um, it's not often, I think, that you see too much emotion coming out of him. He, he stays focused. Well, and it was interesting, obviously, the line that he gave at Paris when he finished third in the regionals in Paris. Never underestimate the little guy, the, the unknown guy, which is what yeah. he was then. But he's not unknown anymore. Nope. He's not unknown. He's been signed by a major, major traditional football team, Stuttgart. You know, he had a great finish in Berlin. People will have watched his play style, learned the tricks that he was using to maybe get a couple of goals here and there. And obviously, he's, he's not this underestimated. Now I feel he's, it's almost effectively in the same vein as Eggshells at the moment. As he's not this unknown, unsponsored, unseen guy that's broke through. He's known now, and everybody is on to him. And that's really when, I guess, your professional career really kicks in, because that's when he gets so much harder. Yeah, when once people take oh, notice, if he's going to score here, surely that's oh, going to bubble. Oh, no, he's hit the bar. God. And De Gea comes in. Well, and how that one has not gone in, I am not sure. We're going to have to have a look at that one a little bit later on. But 
That should have really been 1-0 for Marla, and maybe he goes down now. Bring turn inside, that's brilliantly oh. done from Gorilla. And, you know, Marla will say, yeah, OK, that's, yeah. that's just happened, but does he the lose focus after that? I mean, that's that's end-to-end -end. from the chance where almost 100% should have scored. It flicked up, it came back off the bar, and it goes straight up the other end. And that is Gorilla in a nutshell there. You think of the first game against Stax, similar type of thing was under pressure, relentless pressure in the first half. Still came out a 2-0 win. And Marlott, that I mean, that is... It's all mental games right now. You can see he's just trying to... I need to focus on myself. Hands off the controller. Not doing anything right now. Spencer's sat there. He's not doing anything. So it's just a little timeout, effectively, for Marlott. Just to, like, I need to get my focus back. I need something to get going. Because that was... I mean, that's the, that's, that's the, the real kicker. You know, you're about to score, you let a goal in. It happens in real life all the time. It happens in football and it happens in FIFA. Uh, more times than I like to count. Yeah, very much so. Uh, there's some more scores coming in as well. Superidas won a piece with Cody. Keep an eye on those as they do start to flash through because since we're in round four now, everything's... Uh, Becoming a little more clearer, or, or is it really? If you look at this group, I suppose you could argue completely against that one. The points spread quite evenly across the board. That will be advantage given Marlott's going to get a free kick here. 36 minutes gone. It's Gorilla that leads. Yeah, defensive change there for Gorilla. Just switched it. Got the goal. Go defensive. Is it too early? Is he going to try and hold the lead? I'm not sure, but you know, in these sort of matches, it can just edge on the smallest of details. Just about cut out the cross there and you can see Suarez stamping his feet slapping the ground almost demanding a penalty there just like in real life wasn't to be though Nangolan to Neymar looking to set something off down the right wing here for Gorilla plays it back into Ronaldo the 1-2-1 one, one. Neymar is just going to cut inside back to Ronaldo instead tries to play it off Ronaldo just with a fake shot doesn't pull the defender out like he'd hoped and then in the end the shot was blocked with ease by the defender See if Marlott can turn the tables here and go end-to-end -end for himself. It's Suarez, nice little turn inside, but Walker reading that one nicely. Now it's going to be Gorilla with a chance to run. Just as quickly as he has the ball, Marlott will gain it back. Now it's Suarez, got space in the middle. Ronaldo dispossessed, though. Gorilla able to win things back. Just playing it around nicely here in the middle of the park. Off towards Dembele. Of course, been a big fixture throughout today in a lot of these teams. Marcelo will clear for Marlet. And again, it's sloppy. Ball changing hands pretty much with uh, every kick of the ball here. We're at the half time point, two minutes added on. That's going to be uh, whistled off, though, and Marlet 1 0 down after that crazy scenario where he's somehow hit the bar. Yeah, it's, it's 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 the kicker. I mean, this is the chance. So look at this. You see, it bobbles. It bounces in the air. It looks like he's going to head it in. Gets it clear. Tossed straight up the other end. Dembele through ball for Ronaldo. Slips Neymar in. And Bob's your uncle. I mean, Neymar just does the job. You know, that's why he's worth 200 million. Great little bit of pirouette in there for Gorilla. Two turns. Well, one turn there, another turn there, and then really creates the space that he needed to get himself that one early lead. And you just saw the nod of the head from Marlott. Like, yeah, you know, there's no nothing he could do there. So really big start for him. Just looking at the scores at the top there, Janos equalising. Actually, he's quite big in terms of this game. Obviously, it puts Gorilla in a really good situation, but uh, bringing Aman back in. Janos and Aman kind of leading the group at the moment. It's someone that uh, effective Gorilla's chasing. Marlott, if he loses this game, I've got to be honest, it, it's starting to look grim for him with, what, three matches left. There's a chance. Oh! And he scored instantly. That's what he needed. Straight from the kickoff. And Marlin, well, I mean, he's still got his head in his hands, but it, he got himself the goal. So it's the pressure it's focus, right now. Yeah. It's absolute pressure on Marlin here. And I thought, you know, it was headed towards the post. I thought he was going to get unlucky again there. But this time, it's off the inside. And he slams his fist into that armrest there on his chair. Oof. Head straight into hands, and you know that the pressure on Marlott right now, realistically, in this group, he has to win this game, has to beat Gorilla. So far, he's brought this one back. Let's see what Gorilla answers with, though. Bit of fancy footwork, so much space for Neymar, but Marlott 
can thank his lucky soul, uh, or which is uh, called Manuel Neuer at this point. Well, I mean, time. he shaped himself for that perfect curling shot to the top corner. He thought it was going in. Uh, Roma Aman just scored again. 2-1 against Janos, and that makes a big effect. Obviously, Gorilla drawing this game, but Marlon, if he can get a win here, suddenly he is on four points. And look at Rafsu. Rafsu stacks. They're all 2-2 uh, apiece at the moment. So everybody would start stacking up down there. It's how you're going to get through. It's really what the best... Uh, I wouldn't Aww. say for Marlon, but that is a great goal from Ronaldo. And he's back up against it, isn't he? It's a mistake as well in there for Marlon. Yeah. Really should have cleared that. In the end, took, I think, one touch too many. And that could well cost him in this group stage. Gorilla back into the lead. See some of the other scores coming through there from the PlayStation. Team Ox 2-1 up against Principe. Both of them actually uh, sat at the side of us here and super concentration at this point for uh, for both of those players. Let's have a look here then what Gorilla can now do and how Marlott reacts to this one. We saw when he scored, he looked almost as much in despair as when he conceded a yeah, little bit it, earlier on. He's just shaking his head, every every little thing right now. So this this might be a mental thing. Every, every little thing that goes wrong, he's, he's shaking his head so internally there's a there's a mental battle going on he's got to just try and calm himself down a little bit he knows he can score goals he can score goals against the best this is the man that knocked Tass out of the foot champions yeah. he can beat the best he knows he can beat the best he just needs to get really in it, in his own game he needs to try and get his focus back as it stands gorilla leading 2-1 and just keeping the pressure on and that's really the best situation for gorilla you know leading 2-1 and there you go. There's a rash tackle going in, but it is going to be given in the end to Marlott. <laughs> I was going to say, how is that not a foul? <laughs> that was a straight up. Put, was that a yellow card for Ronaldo? I think he was. Yeah. That was just a yellow card just went in. So, yeah. has to be a little bit careful. Let's see. Still plenty of time, realistically, in this game for Marlott to bring it back. Maybe he's going to go direct oh, one here. One no. touch more. Yeah, David Lewis getting in the way of it. And it's cleared out quickly. Space all of a sudden, though, for Gorilla. Let's not forget he scored his oh, first on it. the break. Suarez got all the space in the world. In the end, he Has comes to. off the keeper. Ronaldo will come in from the back, though. Puts it away. Marla, uh, take the headphones off. And honestly, you'd probably have said he should have scored on the first try there, Gorilla, but... Once it had been saved, I feel that Marlick got a, bit, a little bit unlucky with it. Yeah, I mean, it's three goes. At that point, it's almost the AI defenders deflecting it, which, you know, when there's when there's players. But the problem is, it wasn't, you can't blame the AI for that one. It was all about that initial through ball. The initial through ball that got through to Suarez. You thought it looked like the defender was going to beat him, but Suarez, it just managed to wriggle past. And honestly, there's big important fixtures and goals going in all around the grounds. Principe, you look at that, the what? comeback. 3-2 up now, yeah, exactly. 3-2 up against Tim Ox. Uh, Shells is losing now as well. He's losing to Nicholas. Nicholas top of the group. The Argentinian is dominating right here. Spencer said it earlier. The South Americans are doing really well at the moment here at the FIWC. That's over on the PlayStation side. You can see the scores continuing to rattle through. Stacks. He's now leading. The Englishman. 3-2. Big important result for him in that one. That's the in this same group as well. And more importantly, that result gives Marlott a misery compiler because it, it almost means he can't get through after this. I didn't know what uh, Spencer's reaction to that would be, whether it's more of a, a that's my thing or A, you just said that, and it was a thumbs up, so yeah. well done. You, uh, you've won his heart for now. Here we go then. Again, direct play from Gorilla. Oh, brilliant bit of play from Suarez. Actually kept that one in. I thought it was already out for the corner. But Gorilla... Making things incredibly difficult for Marlott. Yeah, I mean, the best ball, form of defence is attack, really, isn't it? Eight shots to two. It says it all, really. It's the way the goals are going. Suarez into Messi. Can't quite get the return ball. It actually went to Suarez. He wanted it to go uh, through to Ronaldo there. Didn't work out for him. Hull it, though. Big header. That's going to win it perfectly for him. Big chance here for Marlott to try and shrug his way through. Messi almost got in the way, and Suarez does get the goal. 3-2 with... 13 minutes to go in the game. The comeback. Is there a little lifeline for Marlott right now? I'd like to be optimistic and say yes, there is. I mean, technically, yes, there is uh, at this point. Um, but you've got to feel that Gorilla shuts the door on him now. Uh, 
Marlett's going to have to, first of all, get the ball back uh, if he wants to even have a crack at this one. Well, let's see how Gorilla can deal with it. As you said, 13 minutes in-game. What does Gorilla do? Is he going to go and say, you know what, I'm just going to score a fourth and put this one to bed? Just looking across, Dito was leading 3-0. It's 3-2 now. Expect Sport in the day. He needs a win. He needs anything in that group. Uh, it's, I just I was with him in there. He's like, lost three in a row. Just need to win four now. It's easy. <laughs> no problem. As you do. I'd say you turn it around. We'll see whether he can. That's still going on. Uh, of course, eight games at a time going on here. Four on the PlayStation, four on the Xbox. Uh, of course, then after this is the other group. So there's uh, four groups in total played throughout the day. It is all the group stage today. Knockouts will begin tomorrow. And of course, the top four will go through from those groups. Currently, Gorilla is sitting in that top four if the result were to stay as is. I've got to be honest, if it goes to a draw, I've got a feeling he falls back down to fifth. Yeah, it's a very tight group. And as we said, Marlet, if he can pull off a draw here, actually, it's even further wide open, this group, because he'd then move up onto two points. A win for him later on could propel him right back into uh, a position where he can really contest for those playoffs. But he's got to score if he's to get anything back from this one. It's currently Gorilla in possession. Again, fancy footwork from Neymar. He's actually taking the mic here in towards Suarez. Oh, wow, Walker getting down in front of Suarez. He's somehow still going on here. Now finally it breaks three. Are we going to get another counter? I mean, oh my God, oh. they tackled each other. That's disaster, Nangolan. Oh, easy no. ball. And well, look at look at Marla's face. You know, it's like, I can't do anything about that. That was an AI running into him. And yeah, it's just like, well, that's that. Headset yeah. off, done, done. Yeah. <laughs> just like, well, I mean, it, it was an easy finish in the end for Grilla. You're going to get gifted those chance. You're going to score them all day, every day. Gutted. How does that react around the ground? Looking at, at the scores, Cody just gone 3-1 up as well. Uh, I believe uh, the other match, Aman won 2-1, I think. I'm just going to, I'll have to, will I wait for confirmation, of course. Laura and I have confirmation with the scores in just a few moments. Dito, look at that, 3-3. I'm sure he was 3-0 up. I'm absolutely certain. 3-3, the comeback from the Dane. Crazy stuff there. But in this game, 4-2 to the Englishman. Gorilla. Representing Unilad, as a big deal he signed in Madrid, and the revealing as a was an announcement of an announcement that finally came out. <laughs> <laughs> Got there in the end. Well, we have four minutes added on. Not going to be enough time for Marlet to score two. He may get one back now. Oh, oh no! Oh. Dragged wide there. Ronaldo on the left peg, and Marlet. He's not even looking at his screen anymore. He knows that this one's over as a keeper boots it out. And his chances in this group realistically oh, are, five. are all but oh, done no. at this point. The first touch from Ronaldo actually let him down and Boateng got the tackling, but almost certainly could have been five there. It's 4-1 for Cody as well. Just gone. So, 4-2 here, Gorilla. And we're going to get a glimpse of the goals, but Gorilla dominating that matchup in the end. A little unlucky, you got a feel for Marlet, I think, after some of the comeback. You know, it looked like the comeback was on, and then ah, it just went went against him, didn't it? I think that's just the story of his competition throughout the day overall. To be fair, Let's have a little flick across to what is going over on the PlayStation, because this is 3-3. This was Dito, and it has finished <laughs> the second we get to it. Expect Sporting, though, great comeback for him. The problem is he needed the win. He needed the win. So while he did come back from 3-0 down, I believe it was 2-3-3. Fantastic comeback for the Dane, the man that won, of course. It finishes 3-3 in the end. So unfortunately for him, it does mean he doesn't get the win. Uh, but Dito, I think, is still topping that group. So uh, a good comeback. Expect